Hi guys, welcome to this short video about the NVIDIA Shadow Play and how it worked for me on the Rocket League game. So I was looking for quite some time uh, for a good screen uh, recording or recording program for Rocket League and what I've been trying so far was the Bandicam. I mean Bandicam has its full screen recording or game recording option but didn't really work. I always had some interferences. Uh, I don't know why. I heard other people had some su success. I, I didn't know. Uh, uh, for me it didn't work. Then I tried the Cyberlink Power Director which uh, has this free screen recording uh, program as well. I mean you have to buy the Cyberlink Power Direct Director editing tool but you get the screen capturing for free. But it produced a very small uh, screen, uh, sc uh, very small video and uh, yeah so at the end the quality was also really bad then i tried the microsoft uh i don't know how's that called you can invoke it with um windows and g usually something yeah but probably you have to uh play a game only then it's recording and during the game you can uh, press windows alt and r and it will record so it didn't doesn't do anything now maybe it's, it's just because I'm screen recording anyway so um, yeah you have a couple of options of course you have o uh, OBS I think that's a good one I have never tried it's complicated especially when you just have one screen I mean one uh, monitor and uh, with OBS uh, it's much easier if you have two or more screens there's also play.tv I think Pro, uh, yeah, probably it's it's for free. I mean, it's basically a uh, streaming tool. You can, I think, um, record for free, but I have never tried that. Uh, I have tried now so many things and they never worked for me. And yeah, especially the Microsoft um, built-in tool. It, the, the video was quite good, but the sound was super, super, super poor so at the end i just by chance uh, found that uh, nvidia if you have an nvidia graphics card they provide this nvidia shadow play uh, i mean of course when you boot a game then usually there's a message displayed uh, if you are careful you have to read it when you when you start the game on, I think on the right side there's something which explains how it uh, works and how you can start it so I uh, tried it you can uh, invoke the menu wherever you want I mean during the game or on the desktop you can press alt and C uh, I mean, Alt-C is American English, Alt-Z would be British English. So, and then we see this menu. I hope we can see that uh, in the recording. Uh, they basically put it on top of everything, even if it's a game, doesn't matter. The, it, they put it on top. And the good thing is, you not, don't, do not only see the... Uh, settings which you can change or the modes which you can use to uh, record you see also the uh, shortcuts so basically you have an instant replay that means it, when you turn this on it will record everything in the background but not save it i mean it will record it will put it in a temporary file and only after you confirm uh, that's the default uh, thing is alt f10 and when you confirm that that you want to save it now it will save a certain amount of time uh, which you have predefined i will show you that later on so record is um, you started with alt f9 and you can record and stop it anytime but of course you have to start with that before uh, you do something interesting with the instant replay you start this and it's running every time and if something happened in your game 
after that in the next couple of seconds you press alt f10 and then it will uh save it so here we have the yeah we can go to the settings here as well doesn't matter <clears throat> so you define the length of the video clip which is stored here i have 30 seconds that means after something happened in my video i will within the next 30 seconds i will have to press alt f10 otherwise it's lost if you put it on five minutes you have more time to save it or you have more time before the event yeah and of course you can uh, change the quality i had it on high settings and the quality was quite good frame rate i had on 60 frames uh, bit rate i had it on 50 megabits per second and it was quite good it was not perfect but the good thing is even when the quality was really good i have not seen any frame rate uh, frame droppings at all uh, the game looked pretty much the same i i mean if i didn't knew uh, that this thing was running in the background i probably uh, didn't realize so <clears throat> Or I wouldn't have realized that's probably better English. So anyway, um, the menu is a little bit strange. I mean, especially uh, you have these gaps in between, let's say be here between this and here and here and more than in the settings. Um, yeah, you have also screenshot or photo mode. I don't know, game filter. Um, yeah. I think a game has to be running. I haven't tried this out. Um, yeah, but yeah, we had the instant replay, we have the recording, and of course you have the broadcast live if you want to stream to Twitch or YouTube or whatsoever. Here you can add the microphone or camera and you can go directly to the gallery where you see all your recordings you can open the file location which is, is helpful because this thing is a little bit strange here the explorer here uh, but you can click on that and le at least you can remove if you want uh, let's go back here to the settings i mean the, the the menu works really good it's it's fast no complaints it's it's just a little bit weird to see sometimes especially the menu here uh, connect you can connect it you can connect the thing to all your gaming uh, accounts i don't have to uh, show this up here you have uh, hud layout a couple of possibilities with camera and so on uh, keyboard shortcuts you can change i think every probably everything or mo at least most of them can click on every that and then you press your keys and it will change as far as or as long as it's available uh, or you can reset it to default um yeah regarding your recordings you can set your uh, directories um yeah it's pretty easy the only thing what i'm complaining about is here i've actually added a new folder uh can't remember the name but it's not here i don't know when or how frequently they update this menu i have added this i have rebooted the geforce experience i have even rebooted the pc and i have updated the geforce experience and i still can't find here the new folder i don't know why so it's crazy i think i called it video recording or video game recording but it's not here and there's nothing to refresh there's nothing uh, to create a folder as you can see um, there's nothing you can do uh, so you have to use existing folders you cannot even go to an explore to the windows explorer create a menu i mean create a folder and then go come back and you you probably won't see it i mean maybe i'm the only one who has this problem i don't know it's a little bit weird but um yeah just look for a folder which you already have uh, usually it should work so the good thing i mean you can go through everything really quickly 
quickly I have cho chosen the uh, Xbox DVR and here I had already an NVIDIA um, GeForce Experience thing and a Rocket League folder <coughs> anyway let's go back that's the recording thing broadcast I haven't used highlights that's one thing that's a really interesting thing uh, that's but that's only working for a couple of games when you go to the NVIDIA GeForce Experience website you will find I will put down the link for this uh, thing down into the description and you will see you can check uh, the compatib compatibility of your games regarding uh, everything here shadow play uh, GeForce Experience general support or highlight support the thing is they only support like uh, maybe 10 or 20 games with the highlights so how does it work if you have a game which is supported with the highlights then it will automatically record the best scenes so unfortunately Rocket League is not supported so it doesn't matter if you turn it on or off even when you have it on it doesn't record anything automatically so the manufacturer of the Rocket League would have to provide an API to um, NVIDIA and so they could implement it and obviously it doesn't exist so yeah unfortunately i would like to use that uh, that would be really helpful so we have uh, photo modes and game filter and audio some settings and with the video capturing we have already seen that menu before and notifications privacy control i think there's not much you can turn on desktop capture so um, yeah I mean it's a really basic menu there's not much uh, to do and to see it's important that you know your video I mean the keyboard short shortcuts I mean again to invoke the whole thing it's alt C and to start recording I mean the to turn on the instant replay was that instant replay I can't remember the name yeah instant replay to turn on or to activate the instant replay you have to uh, press alt shift f10 hope you can see that in the right corner and then you play just play keep playing and if something really interesting happens then you click on alt f10 and you see again on the right top corner saved last 12 seconds okay now I will can turn it off again alt shift F 10 and now it's turned off and I won't uh, continuously record in a temporary storage of course I can press alt F 9 and it will start recording the whole thing and then alt f9 again and the whole thing is stopped and now i'm going to show you a sample video which i have been recording with the geforce experience nvidia shadow play so here we go and as you can see the quality is not the very best but it doesn't have any interferences and it's quite smooth I mean I don't have the best graphics card and if you have a better system you will be able to record even more smooth so for my system uh, regarding what I have uh, ever seen on my system that's definitely the best recording quality and so I'm pretty happy with that uh, really no major interferences it had a few uh, lags or something like that but not in the game again the game really the game itself was really smooth to play and I turned on a couple of time frame rate um, this uh, I think that was shift F12 something like that you can you can double check the frame rate and it was always pretty much 
the same I tried with rec recording and without recording and I couldn't see any major difference so far so I'm pretty happy with that uh, yeah again maybe uh, there are other uh, possibilities I haven't tried OBS I haven't tried play TV maybe there are also other solutions around but I think I mean this is from Nvidia and I'm using Nvidia graphics card so as long as you have an Nvidia graphics card so the chance is probably that they uh, are able to produce the best screen capturing software because they know their hardware and software uh, the best there's probably nobody else who knows the thing as good as Nvidia uh, themselves so yeah and especially with the instant replay it gives me a good opportunity so that I don't have to record everything and cut after that so I can just uh, continuously record everything in temporary final background and if I want to uh, really save something I press alt f10 and I have the, just the moments which I want and yeah again what I really like is the sound quality that's way way better than what Microsoft uh, game experience was able to record so I leave it running for a couple of seconds so you can focus on the sound as well So that's it for now, I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that, if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel, thanks for watching and see you next time.